So we have a really cool guest coming today. Uh, Hank from Hamiltonville Farms uh, YouTube channel is coming to visit us. And uh, we got a really cool surprise. Pretty respectable. That's good, that is premium. Premium, <laughs> and all that good stuff, so. So it's four cylinder gas, right? And under uh, over here, there's a bracket missing to keep this starter alternator or starter. Over here, there's a bracket missing. And so if you put that on there, that'll keep this from vibrating so much. I just haven't had a chance to do that. It's got the new filters, new plugs, new plug wires, coil, new battery, and uh, your steering brakes are on this side. So that's always a nice thing, you know, so it'll make you turn sharper and all that good stuff if you use that. But uh, the three-point hitch system does work on it. Here's your lever to control the up and down on the three-point hitch system. And underneath this little lever right here is your PTO. And I know you were talking about you may want to put a uh, four-foot, five-foot box blade on it. I mean, a, a bush hog, yep. a rotary cutter on it. You can definitely do that with that. And we'll, uh, I'll show you. A little, a little slack in the PTO here in just a second, but uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the PTO spline. So this, this actually comes out. If you take this bolt out right here, yep. it actually comes out and can flip over uh, for a, I think it's like dual speed PTO, if I'm not mistaken. But this is just worn out, so a lot of a lot of slack in there. And then there's an inspection window underneath the tranny there, and you can look in that, and you can see the gear and the play in it and all that stuff. So I don't know how you fix that. It might be a rebuild process or it might be a replacement process. Okay. But you you know you can use all your infinite uh, mechanical wisdom to to figure it out. And uh, and I'll hey if you guys are watching this. Make sure you're leaving comments to help him uh, so he'll go back and he can read the comments. That's the best thing about this community is you guys have awesome comments uh, about, you know, hey, you should, you should do this or you should try this or whatever. And we fixed a lot of stuff on our channel because of comments that you've made. Well, let's keep walking around here. So we've got the, we've got the carburetor rebuilt. 
and there's new battery the starter's been rebuilt it does have now listen scott it's got a cherry bomb muffler on it, <laughs> all right and mailbox letters <laughs> Okay, so we I would prefer that you actually keep those on there, especially the mailbox letters. Okay. People love the mailbox letters. It's very sentimental. All right, <laughs> there you go, Tyler. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, but this is uh, this is the funnest part about owning the Oliver, right? This is called a double H pattern here. Got the you got the plate here that tells you the shifting pattern, and so this is uh, you have a couple gears in the, the the top half and a couple gears on the bottom half. So. Any questions about that? <laughs> I don't understand how to get from the top to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Well, me neither. All right, so just go, uh, if you over and down to the left, you go backwards. Over and down to the right, you go forwards. Uh, and, <laughs> and then try to figure it out from there. <laughs> but uh, it's going to do good for you, man. It's going to be it's going to be pretty awesome. And what I like most about it is the fact that it's going to actually, no kidding, be used again. You know, and so that's really, really cool to to know that this thing so this is hank from hamilton mill farms how about you <laughs> and this is olive oil yeah yeah this is olive oil this is our 1954 oliver super 55 it's a gas and what i've had this tractor for probably a year now something like that and basically it just set my pole barn you know we didn't do a lot of work with it and i really wanted to, to find somebody that would actually work it because it's such it's too good of a tractor too nice of a tractor just to set in a pole barn well, it is awesome, and Hank has drove this all the way from Florida yep. up here to us in Tennessee to gift us this tractor to be able to use here on our property, and we are so thankful for it. We are going to use it so much, and it is right up our alley. It is exactly, if I had to pick a tractor, this is what I would pick. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, you know, we were, uh, it's such a good thing about the YouTube community. You know what I mean? You get to meet great friends, you get to meet great people, and uh, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to say, hey, you know, this... You know, I have a tractor. It would be nice to give it to someone who would need a tractor, who likes old tractors. So it's just a perfect, you know, perfect combination, perfect match. Match made in heaven, as they say. <laughs> So on uh, Hank's channel, Hamiltonville Farm, mm -hmm. uh, you guys do a lot of like, uh, will it start videos, mm -hmm. first start working on vehicles? Right, right. We, um, do, a, we do a lot of, we do a lot of that, a lot of older, de old iron type stuff, excavators, uh, motor graders, stuff like that. We do a lot of tractor videos. Uh, we do like a bush hogging and box blade and things like that. But it's really cool to find that old iron, see if you can actually, you know, turn a bolt or two and and, uh, and get those things fired back up. So it's been really, really fun process, but it's it's kind of funny because, you know, I laugh when I watch your videos because you're actually a real mechanic, you know, and I, uh, I and I'm a, uh, hey, let's make sure it's got starting fluid in the, in the <laughs> <laughs> a battery and starting fluid in that uh, crescent wrench. That's about the extent of my mechanical knowledge there. <laughs> well, you do have a whole series of videos on this tractor specifically up on your, on your channel. Do. Yeah, yeah. We have a playlist called Oliver super 55 and so if you want to see the kind of the backstory on this tractor go check our channel out and we will uh show you we got it so we got it from a guy who runs an organization that helps kids uh terminally ill kids that go on like dream hunts and dream fishing trips and all that stuff uh it just kind of brightens their 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 day up a little bit and what, so, what's the name of that organization uh, camo dreams camo dreams uh so it's it's and what i like about it is it's literally 100 percent of the donations go to helping those kids i mean he don't take there's all volunteer services and all that but he had this sitting out in his field and he was like do you want it and it, w it wasn't running it was in pretty bad shape and we were able to get it up running and 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 operational again and then we was like well we'll use it for hay rides and then the, really the better part was to be able to give it to somebody who's going to work which where you come into play right it's gonna be awesome i cannot wait we're gonna get it up and down the hill today <laughs> the box plate needs to be yeah. run so we'll see <laughs> yeah. yeah i think you i think you, you'll put it to work you figure out that shift pattern on it it's gonna be awesome <laughs> well thank you again so much man we, we we love your channel we we love the fact that you gave this to us and the story behind it yeah well thanks man we appreciate it we just you know it's 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 always good it's good helping good people, I guess, is a, is a good way. So we just we think highly of you and your family, and, and it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, we'd love for you guys to check us out. That would be cool, you know. So. Well, thank you so much again. Yeah, absolutely. I got to get back to Florida. <laughs> there goes Hank, man. Make sure you check out his channel.
the hill now that I know how to shift it? Yeah. But I keep it high in first to go down the hill. First or second. Hang on. I know how to do this. It's just difficult. <laughs> turds that are burning off they were coming off of the exhaust manifold up here and I'm falling down there smoking <laughs> interesting well I can't thank Hank enough for this tractor this is gonna be awesome for us here at the property we absolutely love it we're so appreciative <laughs>